we're busy discussing how to make money, how to make money here in Africa. How do we make money here in Africa? We made videos we've discussed, or so far we've been discussing this whole week, of how to make money here in Africa, especially where poverty seems to be having grounds and to be having roots. How do we really come out of this? How do we put ourselves now? These videos, this channel basically is dedicated to, to, to YouTube. Africans become, doing things like opening YouTube channels and making money online and becoming YouTubers and all that. But now, how do we really make money? How do we make money here in Africa? Through just the simple steps, just through saving money, through through lowering our standards, through through simple things that we we didn't know about, things that we hardly nobody ever taught these things about. When we go to school, thank God, as Africans, we've, we've stepped up and we're busy educated, we're busy accumulating education and piling and piling. Thank God, now Africans, we are educated. Africans, we're educated, and I thank you for that. But now, we educated, and then we sit with the qualifications under our pillows, under the pillows. So now, most many, many South Africans here, I see even not only South Africans, Nigerians, and all of them Ghana, they come here educated. They come here educated and they so educated some of them come their professors some of them come with masters and in in whatever that they did in engineering and all that but then now they get here and there is no jobs there are no jobs for them there are no jobs for what they did so they choose i've seen them they've chosen to put those degrees and the masters under the pillows and go and start hustling and do whatever that can feed, put food on the table, and send home and look after their families at home. But then now, how do we get to break this cycle? How do we break this cycle? We go to schools, like I said, it's good, we're educated, we've studied and all that, which is good news. I'm proud of Africans because we've that mentality and educated primitivity, we've, we've stooped out of that primitivity. Now we are on our way. Thank God for that. Thank also to the Westerners who have been, of which most uh, highest population in Africa call them white people. I don't call them white people. I call them Westerners. They live in the Western. We are all the same. We're all people with different skin tones. So nobody is white, nobody is black. But now it's just the differences. We live in different, we come from different climates and we come from different, uh, 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 different, uh, different uh, temperatures and different, and that has a part or plays a part on influencing the way we look and the way the sun burns us and it burns you. To, of which let me go not deep in the, but we're all the same. We're all the same. So what we need to do as Africans is to, is to is to make sure that we 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 make friends with our westerners with our westerner brothers and sisters and see how they do things the truth is they've always been a far far ahead of us they discovered how to do things they dis they learned how to do things behind our backs when we were still busy running around with na naked and and getting fire from stones hitting stones for hours and hours you spend 10 hours just to get that stone produce, hit that stone and make it produce fire. So then they kind of like came and opened us. So when it's high time, we make friends with them. Let's be with them. Let's interact with them. Let's with, with, I see we've intermarried with them. We've, 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 we live together. we all together. So now when it comes to, when it comes to now to, after being qualified and educated, how do we step out of that box of, of now being free from education? Being free from, because to me, it, it, has seemed, uh, uh, it has seemed like as if education has become another slavery on the side. Yes, we were liberated, we got liberated, uh, and then 
We started educating, op education opened our eyes. But then now one thing I discovered with education is education, education never tells you. Do you know, do you know when someone gives you a fish? When you go and crying on someone's door every day to, to, for a fish. So they give you a fish. They won't tell you how to go and catch that fish. The person who's giving you a fish is a fisherman. He's a fisherman, but he won't tell you how he catches that fish. He rather goes and catch the fish at night, bring it, and then in the morning you come, ask for food, and he give you a fish. So now, education, education is good. Trust me, don't get me wrong. Westerners, I'm sorry, don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm trying now to tell people not to go and educate it. But as Africans, we need to be clarified and to be clear about these things. Education is good. Education has a play, a role, good role that it played in our, in our lives, in our part. It had a good But then now let's look at it on the other flip. So let's flip the coin now and look at the other side of education. The reason I'm saying education has looked as some kind of like a slavery and in Africans is that Westerners see education differently. Westerners see education with a different, with a different kind of glasses. We as Africans, education came and we are busy blowing it out of proportion and we're busy running around with it without even knowing exactly what education means. So I'm not here to say education is bad, education is slavery, but depending on, depending on how you choose to look at education will determine how you will end up with that education of yours. Now as the Africans, we've taken education and we've studied and we've piled and piled and stuffed up, we've puffed up, puffed up. Do you know when you're so overeducated, you become puffed up with the word that the application of that word you lack you lack applying you like you lack the edu the no the wisdom remember wisdom and knowledge are two things two different things you're lacking the wisdom to apply that knowledge that you went to achieve from school you lack the wisdom to apply it in your life remember in order to knowledge after you go to school and get knowledge now you need to apply it in your daily life in order for it to work for it to work now without wisdom you won't be able to apply it you will be puffed up with knowledge knowing knowing what you learned but you won't be able now for instance a mechanic a mechanic guy who who grew up with his father from 10 years old training him how to go under that car and change that car and change that tire and clean the engine, remove the engine and clean it and all that and service the car manually. Then on the other hand, we've got this other white collar dude, not a white dude, I'm saying, I'm not this about a black color, the white collar dude, like the white shirt and the tie and the coat sitting in class. He studied, he's got masters and he's got all that degrees and all that in engineering in mechanical engineering. So then now he comes out, he never learned how to go under that car. He just does mean engineering, that's it. He does it in books, theory. So now the one in, the one, the, the one who learned it manually doesn't have any qualification, he didn't even finish metric. So then now that one you, uh, the other one comes out with his with his qualifications, comes and you give him a car, tell him to change that engine engine and change, remove those tires, and he won't have a clue of how to do it. Simply because he knows it in the books, he knows each and every part of the car, how they call it, who invented it, who who named it, and how to how to how to. He knows how to theoretically, theory through theory. Theory. Now, the one who lies who lays under the car from the age of ten is very well experienced when it comes to changing a car and splitting, pulling it, putting the spare parts and putting it together. He's very well experienced. Now, who's likely to be prosperous here? You do the maths. Is the one who learned it through manual than the one who went to class? 
And so education is good, but then it has its other side. Now, as Africans, we've been we've been reprogrammed to think that education is all that. But then now we've neglected the wisdom, of which wisdom is the part that we need to apply knowledge, which is education, into our lives so that we can become wealthy. Now, the Westerners or the white man knows the tool. Education is a tool. Education is not, is not your life. Your life, can, your life doesn't re revolve around education. Education is a tool that you can use to take your life to another level. Say, for instance, all the people who are wealthy, wealthy people, CEO, uh, not CEOs, CEOs are educated. I'm talking about founders, company founders. Founders of companies, if you look at them, they don't know, they're not educated. Most of them are not educated. Most of the wealthy people that you see on earth, on this earth, are, are dropouts. All of them are dropouts. All of them, dropouts. And some of them even take themselves later, they take themselves back to school just to upgrade themselves, but all of them are dropouts. Now, these are people that realized that if I can, if I can, they've got wisdom. They have wisdom to apply. You can live with wisdom. You can live without knowledge, but with wisdom, wisdom can lead you to knowledge. But knowledge cannot lead you to wisdom. You need, knowledge, you need wisdom to get knowledge and to apply knowledge into your life. So then, now then, now he says, now what I will do is I will, I will start, I will, I, will, I will create what I've created. I will take what I've created, start a company. He even doesn't start a company. It becomes a company without him knowing because of the people that he accumulates around him. Without recognizing it, it's a company already. So what he does, he goes and gets someone who can help him achieve his dream or his vision, putting his vision on the table. Remember, he's the founder of the vision. So he looks for someone who will help him. He finds, he finds, uh, he finds someone who can help him put it out there on the market. He, he finds someone who can help him balance the books because him is not is uneducated. After putting the product on the market, he looks for a marketer to market it pays that one. He, he started marketing. He pays an accountant to help him calculate the books properly. He gets someone who, who, he gets a lawyer who can help him know the law of how to patent this product and make it his. He, he gathers himself with educated people, but him himself is not educated. He's the one who carries the wisdom. And he pays them, he tells them what to do. But remember, they don't have the wisdom, they've got knowledge, which is education, He's got wisdom, which actually helps these people, help them put food on the table, because you need wisdom to put food on the table. Knowledge is a tool to help you get, get more further into what wisdom has made you to be. So now when kids go to school here in Africa, they are not trained to, they are not trained to study and open a company. They are trained to study, pass, and get a job. Study, pass, and get a good job. Study, pass, and get a good job. So now those who finish matric and the certificate, they've got two certificates laying somewhere, signed by some institutes. They go and get a job. When they get a job, they long to be promoted. Some Westerner comes with his wisdom, comes. This one who's been there for long, uh, the African one educates him and show him. They tell him, look, uh, 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 fantasy, that's the name. Fantasy, can you show this guy around how to do things? One to three weeks, one to three months, that, that one who came later becomes, becomes the supervisor of this one. Why? This is not about exploiting. This is not about a white man hating the black man. No, this has nothing to do with that. Even though as, as Africans, we always look for who to blame. We look for where to, 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 to transfer our anger. So, but now this has to do with wisdom. You as an African, you've got only knowledge. That Westerner has got wisdom. He's got how, how to go about doing all of this. And therefore, 
when we go to uh, acquire knowledge, they don't tell us how to open a company, how to run a company. They teach us how to, to study pass and get a good job. Now you are there, you've been teaching your supervisors, they've been promoted and becoming your managers. Now you, but you think the first thing that comes into your mind is I need to upgrade myself, I need to go study more and come back. You're busy investing into studying. This is not all about studying. You're busy, look, instead of looking for wisdom, wisdom, you're busy looking for more to go upgrade and look for more knowledge. Wisdom, you can't find wisdom from institutes. Wisdom is not found from institutes. Now, I leave you with that homework to go look for where you can find wisdom. If you know where wisdom comes from, put it there in the comment. Put it in the comment there where you find wisdom, where you know wisdom comes from. And to, in order to get where, where wisdom comes from, who should you know and who is the person you should look for to give you wisdom? Put it there in the comment if you know what the answer is. But now, as Africans, we're not trained to study. We're not trained, we're not directed into the wisdom path. We're directed into the knowledge path, of which that's not enough. Now, knowledge makes you rich. Knowledge doesn't make you wealthy. Wisdom makes you wealthy. Wisdom sees rich as poverty. Wisdom, wisdom overlooks, wisdom oversees, overlooks rich. Remember, in one of my videos, I mentioned that becoming rich is 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 where depression lies is where uh, is where greed and and obsession all of that when you want to become rich you open doors for all of that when you want to become wealthy wealthy is about giving to the community giving to the society if you want to listen to what i said just dive into those playlists there at the bottom and find out exactly what I dis what we discussed in those videos. If you have more tips and you've got things to discuss about, put them there in the comment box. Let's chat and interact and, and discuss about exactly what Africans have gone through in order to get where they are. Accumulating all these certificates and diplomas only to find out that they're useless. They, they, they are actually, they, the diplomas are the ladder into exploitation are the ladder into more and more if you didn't waste time I'm, again i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying education is bad education is good but now think of wasting all your time wasting all your time sitting in class and you're wasting you're spending money you're spending money it's another it's another money making scam you're spending money there but you're not given wisdom you're given knowledge of which knowledge is good, it's not bad. But then now, do not invest in that and put all your investment in that because you can still accumulate. What I've seen, what we've realized here in Africa is we are, we, we're putting our heads over diplomas and diplomas and masters and degrees and degrees. We've invested all our income, income, we've invested income into money. You basically, just the same way you're looking at clothes sitting in your wardrobe, and you bought name uh, clothes and brand name clothes and they're all sitting in your wardrobe. You can't even wear them anymore. You're tired of them, but you're still looking at money sitting there. When you open that folder of yours, you can see degrees and degrees of years and years that you spend money in doing, thinking that that's you, you're preparing, you're making your life to be better. But now, how do we really get out of that? How do we save our people from this slavery of education? Go to school, but go to school and finish matric. Finish matric, come out, go do a certificate. Don't, do not see education as a means of, of your life, your whole life. And you even start looking down upon us. Here in Africa, people who are educated are being worshipped, are being worshipped. And they're educated, that gives wings. It gives pride to the educated and start looking down upon those who are uneducated. You who are educated, who is educated? You're spending all the time in class, looking, waking up in the morning and go sit in class, while the uneducated one is busy acquiring wisdom on the other side. Then you come out of that institute with your education, you still come outside, and still the founder who was a dropout, the founder 
who's been surpassing and inventing stuff while you're sitting in class is is the one is the same one to hire you that founder is the same one who is uneducated who doesn't have degrees is the same one who hires you many people are hired in companies they got no idea the founder of the company who he is founders of those companies are uneducated they don't have education they never went far with studies but they've got wisdom to help them start something from the ground they've got nobody they've got no one they don't and probably they grew up in a hardship they had nothing and therefore all they have is their heads they don't have money to put in education they couldn't go to study they couldn't do nothing so all they had is to die or die trying try or sell hustle and but through hustling he invented and came up with something something that now has become big that you who's educated you're coming out now as an architecture you're trying to build he hires you to build a building a mansion on his building to run his company in he hires you who's educated so now who's the wealthy here you the educated or the one who who who's, who's the founder? so we go to schools to get that's why i call i call education a part of it I call it slavery not 100% but a part of it I think it's slavery why because it trains you puts you keeps you in a box no this is how far you can study this is how far you this is what you can study this is you can't go this far and no 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 that's for that's for higher grades you can you can, you find in schools kids that are very smart kids that are very smart i've got a cousin who who was smarter in primary school he was smarter than his grade than the kids in his class but they refused to promote him to the other kids that he's he's leveling with simply because his age belonged here no your age no you are nine you are 10 so you belong there you are 10 you can't go in in kids in school in classes where they are 13 year olds but the child's brain and the mind they, they basically they were stagnating him they were stagnating him in this class with the stupid with the stupid kids his brain was up there but they wouldn't let him go up there because the curriculum says he must stay down here now that is keeping our kids in a box it's keeping us in a box so now now all he does is shatter is shatter what he knows and shatter they, they they won't let him explore they won't let him bust give birth to that knowledge that he has inside of him they won't by putting they won't let him they won't put him with those that are, are that are on the same level with him simply because his age does it so he chooses they choose to stagnate him here with these fools and keep him there and keep him there by the time he reaches there he's already he's already he's been frozen his brain has been frozen now so now we need to get to get a uh, divert our minds of education i'm not saying stop being stop studying if you can go and study if you cannot study if you cannot afford education do not kill yourself over education do not throw yourself under the bus simply because you couldn't you couldn't go to school simply because even though these educated ones make us feel they make us feel uh, inferior they make us feel like like then I'm, i myself i'm not educated i'm not educated i don't have certificates i don't have all that but i'm running a big company a big company that manufacture hair products that manufactures uh, if you go and search injibs injibs the injibs www the injibs cosmetics you'll see and on my website you'll see all my all my my range my product range there the products are in stores products i'm a, i'm i'm a manufacturer i never never went to school I never went to school I only did primary school so but then now I invented and the people that I hire are people that are educated are people that are educated to run my company so we, well, I'm talking from what from experience I know what I'm talking about they at schools they teach they teach us they don't teach us how to think they teach us what to think they tell you what to think what to think they don't tell you how to think So now they, that is where me I, I don't have nothing against education don't get me wrong but if you want to know how to make money if you want to learn how to make money and become wealthy not even becoming rich because becoming rich is an understatement becoming wealthy if you want to become wealthy and know how to become wealthy and make money you need 
you need here in Africa we need to know what's what's relevant and what's not relevant what's inevitable and what is not we've realized with this we've discovered that a lot of people here in South Africa have been have been uh, have been I have been investing, investing in education, investing in education, investing in a child's education, only to find out that whatever that they studied, whatever they studied, have as it's got now here tourism here in Cape Town, kids have been doing tourism, and tourism has been the thingy because Cape Town is a tourism city. But now. Talk of talking of talking of tourism and and being the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 resource the, our source of, of our our resource here in Cape Town is tourism attraction. That's the main here in Cape Town tourism attraction. Now kids have been investing. Parents have been investing in training kids to go and study tourism and do all that stuff. But now recession has come. With COVID nineteen has come, COVID nineteen it has hit us already. Already we've been we've been we've been we've been uh, we've been announced or should I say announced or considered we we considered in a recession. We are considered recession. Recession. We are on the, we we've been degraded. So now we don't know how the economy is gonna be. Now with COVID nineteen. We're not allowed to travel outside. Remember, this is a this is a, a the, our resource here. Our resource here is 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 uh, is a tourism attraction. So now, if there is no tourists coming in, I was watching on TV the the game game park game the game game farms game parks where the, the, the tourism would come and people but ceos managers were complaining and they say i'm sitting with all i've done orders when the lockdown came and they they locked down um, um, um tourism from going into another they, they they were saying we we've booked many bookings that we've had throughout the past months past weeks and now after these bookings they've cancelled all the flights and the bookings now we have no choice but to refund to refund the money and all that and companies businesses are going down so now we do not know how this thing covid-19 will affect our resource our means of, of our, our the, the tourism attraction here so now kids have wasted money a lot of money training kids of which that's not good that's not bad that's not but then now we are trying to come up with solutions right now we need to open our eyes open our eyes ways find ways of how to make money Without taking money and spending ten years, not not you know, ten years, one, twenty years, twenty five, not, not twenty five. Twenty five is someone who just entered. Twenty five is someone who just been. They go. People here, I'm telling you, here in South Africa, people study until they are fifty. They are busy studying and upgrading and spending money and paying tuition, pay, paying for tuition. Now, they've studied all that tourism attraction courses and all that. Now recession has come all of a sudden. Now all of those who studied that money has gone down the drain. Anyway, I'm not trying to discourage you, but we let's as Africans we need to find let's let's all be inventive. Come up with something. Come up, start be, be creative. Take what take what you have and transfer it, transform it to something else. Thread is all over. Wool is all over. When, and we know people. We know people who you know, meet. There is a. There is a, 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 a. What is it? Should I call it an organize a company or something? A brand. A brand called. Uh, called. Uh, what? It's in Joburg. It's in Johannesburg. They. 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 They make. They make those caps. They make caps wood. They knit. They knit and make caps and. And so, and now it's a brand. It's a brand. So we can create brands. Take what you have. If you if it if you can collect those those bottles and melt them and melt them and and find ways of how to to form another bottle out of it. Be creative. Melt stuff. Burn yourself and get back on your feet and melt. That's what it takes. It took me a couple of. It took me years to be in a lab inside my lab. And start coming up with 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 the herbal herbal concoctions that can grow back hair. It took me years. So get back in there. You will fall. You will waste. It. Throw away. Get start again. In the end, consistency always pays off. Consistency pays off. 
even here on YouTube, if you want to be a video YouTube creator, I've got videos on how to teach how to be a YouTuber, how to create YouTube, a YouTube channel, and how to create content. Consistency is what pays off here on YouTube. Consistency. Consistency doesn't mean keep it, but consistency is doing the same thing with a good attitude, with a good, happy attitude and not give up. Keep, keep, keep producing whether you're getting out anything out of it or not. Keep producing and keep producing and keep producing. So now, those are one of them, some of the ways that we need to learn how to make money here in Africa, especially here in South Africa. We need to start knowing that education is good, but education is not all in all. Study to an extent. If you go and learn your name and learn how to read a sign that says do not pee here, isn't that enough for you? Go and start while you're there. If you have money, be there. If you believe in it, be there and you have money. But if you do not have money, don't kill yourself over not going to school. Be inventive. All of those who are inventive, who all of those who came up with ideas are dropouts. They didn't go to school. So you can still have a good life. You can still hire people who didn't who went to school and still be the boss and put foods on their tables. Now you, the wealthy one, you make other people, you make these ones rich because they want to be rich anyway. So make them rich, but you are the wealthy who holds the wisdom to, to of the of why of of finding something and, and taking knowledge that you got from school and applying it into your daily life. If you want to see more of these videos of how to make money and learning how to get yourself as an African, get yourself on the ground of the ground and start coming up with ideas of, of inventive ideas of how to how to change your life for the better, make sure that you subscribe down there and touch the bell button also to receive the notification that I've uploaded something new for you on, on YouTube. Israel once again, and I hope that you keep coming back, back and back and back again for more tips on how to make money and how to work on YouTube and open a channel and make videos. Bye-bye.